Hey folks, Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to go over changes of state. So let's get started. Now, to begin the second section for the properties of matter topic, specific latent heat, we're going to look at changes of state. And some of this will be a bit of a recap from earlier science courses that you might have done. So it starts by saying that the three states of matter are solids, liquids, and gases, and hopefully you already knew that. So I'm just going to show you a quick simulation to demonstrate the particle movement in these three states of matter. So if you look here, we've got a solid. So remember the particles in a solid are all tightly packed and close together, and they form a regular shape or regular pattern as shown by this sort of square shape here. And you'll notice that all of the particles are vibrating. If we look at the liquid this time though, you'll see that we have less of an arranged structure, not much of a shape there. We can see that the particles are actually taking the shape of the container here, and there's a bit more space in between the particles. So the particles are moving a bit more randomly with a bit more space in between them. And lastly, we have the gas where the particles are moving about randomly in all directions with lots of space in between them. And because they're enclosed in this container here, they're hitting off the walls of the container. Going back to the notes now, it says that a solid turns into a liquid by melting. This is called fusion. So what you normally call melting, we're going to be calling fusion in this topic. And remember when a liquid turns into a gas, we call it evaporating. And we'll call this vaporization in this topic. So if you hear fusion, it just means melting, and vaporization means evaporating. And lastly, we have a gas turns into a liquid by condensing, and a liquid turns into a solid by freezing. So just to summarize this in the picture here, you can see that if we start off with a solid, like an ice cube, and it melts, then it's going to form a liquid, i.e. water. But if we take that water and we say want to create ice cubes with it and put it in the freezer, then it's going to undergo freezing to become a solid again. If we have a liquid though and we heat it up even further, then it's going to evaporate, such as when you boil water in a kettle. So evaporation will take place and you form a gas. But let's say we start with a gas and the gas undergoes condensation, then it's going to form a liquid again. So that's our four changes of state that we've talked about. And remember, you might see melting as fusing, and you might see evaporation as vaporization. And the last one here is sublimation, which isn't really in the course, but it's interesting to see that we can actually go straight from a solid material into a gas and sort of bypass or skip the liquid stage. I'm just going to show you a quick simulation to help you visualize some of these changes of state. So let's say we start off with a solid and we heat it up. This should cause the solid to melt into a liquid, also known as fusion. So you'll start to see there's a lot more space in between the particles and they're starting to take the shape of the container now because we've applied some heat. And if we continue to apply heat to this material, we should get a gas, i.e. liquid going into a gas, which is evaporation, also known as vaporization. So if we heat up the particles here even further, we should start to see that they move about randomly in all directions even more so than they're doing already. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.